Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to specify the mapping rules. So again, we're continuing with our Solution Manager 7.1 Support Package Stack 8. Uh, charm configuration, we've covered copy transaction types, we've covered defined copy control. Now we're going to do the specify mapping rules. Uh, again, I'm going to hover the transaction and, and see what view it is that it's using. Uh, it's in SM34. Um, I'm, uh, I'm against uh, using SABGUI HTML, so uh, we'll, I'll go ahead and uh, hover over that again, see if I can show you that view real quick. There it is, AIC VC TRTY MAP uh, in SM34. Uh, I have it up and running. Um, uh, so the trick with this one is, is it's not a table view. Uh, so it's very, uh, you know, we want to come down and, and uh, just hit and do the new entries buttons. For, so like this, at SMAD and SMAD and admin change and admin change. Uh, but this is config. You have text ID and dates mappings, date mappings. Uh, so I just want to give you an example here real quick. Um, if I were to just hit new entries and create... Um, SMCR to SMMH, um, you know, I, I could hit new entries and add this entry, but I would be missing the text ID mapping and the, and, uh, the date mapping rules. Uh, so this is config and it has dependent entries, so it's not like the, the table maintenance screen where I can just add new rows to a table. Uh, I needed to use the copy button. Uh, SAP's gone ahead and already, uh, through their copy routine program, done some of this work for us, uh, but we have to fix it. Uh, so it's safest just to go line by line. Uh, you can see that there's a project type for each one. Uh, so typically there's four. So implementation project, maintenance project, template project, upgrade project. Um, uh, you can see external references is, uh, is blank, but everything else is checked. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing when we do the copy button. Uh, so on this one, we're going to go ahead and hit the copy button. Uh, we're going to say ZMAD to uh, ZMAD. Uh, everything else is exactly the same. Uh, so that one has been copied. I believe we can also select multiple at the same time. I'll go ahead and validate that right now. Uh, so we can go ahead and hit ZMAD, 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 maintenance template upgrade. Hit the enter button. And it says number of entries copied, uh, which is totally fine. Okay. Save our entries. Click the back button to get the full grid row again. I'll go back down to ZMAD. Uh, now we have to remove the, the ones that are unused. Uh, so you have these SMADs that are not going to get used. Uh, and you have the ZMADs that are. So we're going to go ahead and hit the, the minus sign. Uh, hit the save button just in case. There we go. So that uh, ZMAD is done. Now we're ready to do ZMCG. to ZMCG, so we'll hit the copy button. Okay. Press the enter key. Number of entries copied and save. We're done. Uh, page back down. And delete the, en the entries we no longer need. So we're going to continue this for, for all the Z entries. Um, so we'll do ZMCR right now. Okay, we've got them all highlighted. Uh, we hit the copy button. I accidentally hit a button there. Let's see if it'll bring me back. Uh, well, let me try again. I hit, <laughs> hit that wrong button again. Uh, third time's a charm. Boy, I'm having a heck of a time here.
All right. Uh, we're going to copy all. Uh, so one, entry one of the tables has dependent entries, which is what we, uh, we knew. There were some dependent entries in there. Uh, so we want to make sure we didn't miss them. So we're going to copy all. Uh, slow process, uh, but you know, again, if you just added the new entries, uh, you would miss the dependent rules for the text procedure, uh, the text and the date mapping. So, uh, for those of you wondering, uh, the date mapping works for RFC to normal or urgent, uh, so that when you have a requested by date in a in a request for change, uh, that date is then copied to the normal or urgent change. So uh, that's how the magic happens behind there. Uh, so that was ZMCR. We're going to go ahead and config, uh, continue uh, with our config. We're going to delete the uh, standard SAP entries that we no longer need. All right, ZMCR is done. Uh, we can go ahead and wrap up the rest of them here. Uh, ZMHF, which is urgent, MMJ, which is normal, MMTM, <coughs> which is defect. Uh, so same routine here. Press the enter key, press save. And we're good to go. Uh, and delete our, uh, delete our SAP entries that we no longer need. So let's go ahead and wrap that up. So sometimes this configuration can be confusing. That's why I want to do a video demo, uh, just so everybody could see it. Uh, go ahead and hit the Save button, click Back uh, when you're done. Uh, go back to Internet Explorer under your specified mapping rules. Uh, let's go ahead and set it to Perform. Uh, the next video will be on uh, proposals for related transactions, transaction types or projects, uh, and setting up process-dependent status control. Thank you.